what it's like to live in prison, oh, it sucks. From when I was five to 14, let me see, in those, in those nine years, I was probably literally locked in my room on restriction probably half of those years. So I was on restriction like in my room with the door closed. Like, like I couldn't come out. I couldn't come out to go, to go eat and I could come out to go take a shower and that was it. I could spend the rest of my life in a cell and just deal with it. But that's just because how I grew up. For regular people, they, they, could, they can't deal with it. No, <clears throat> not at all. I think the Home Up is really providing that connection back to the outside for a lot of the folks who are incarcerated. By making it accessible to people who are incarcerated, we are hoping to send the message that people who are incarcerated also deserve more access to education. We're working with the sibling, you know, the little sister at Junior Up and the mom at Universidad Popular, but the brother's in jail serving, you know, 25 to life. We also have to address that need in our community. Whatever is not being taught in our classrooms, we fill that gap. What prisons and jails do is serve to isolate us from each other. And I think education is a way of bringing together a lot of people that have shared similar experiences to then fight this together. Now, it, cha it changed a little about the things I think about. Like now I'm thinking about moving ahead in life instead of just being stuck where I was always been at. Everybody needs some kind of outlet to better themselves. Like when you come out of prison without no education or nothing, nobody reaching a handout, you're just gonna go right back. And I've learned that because this is the first time I've even been out more than two months. I've always get out. I've, I've gone back to prison in a week, two weeks before, but this time I have people to help me. You know, they're willing to help me, not judge me. And, and look where I'm at now. Got a good job. I'm going to college. So that's why you need it. We talk about like community and creating change in the community, but we never talk about who is the community. Just because they're not physically there doesn't mean that they're like not part of the community. School is cool, that's it.